will of the voters of that state. And so I'm hopeful that it's going to turn out okay. So while I have you, Congresswoman, I want to tick through a few things. um, And you bring up the current president of of the United States. I want to talk about a post-Trump era, um, that being January 21st, after Joe Biden is sworn in as the as the next president of the United States. Let's talk about investigating the current president. Do you support um, possibly investigating investigating Donald Trump um, and his administration after he leaves office uh, on January 20th? President-elect Joe Biden's uh, chief of staff has said over the weekend that the administration would basically allow, and I'm reading here, their attorney general to make a determination. But but we know privately Joe Biden has said he kind of wants to move on from this. Well, I certainly would support investigating the president of the United States. What he has done uh, in the four years that he has served as president is simply unconscionable. I think criminal in some cases. He's placed this country in danger. And the president of the United States is supposed to be about making sure uh, that the country is safe and secure. And he has done everything possible uh, to undermine our democracy. And I don't think that can be overlooked. And I don't know what Biden would do. And I know that Biden wants to move on. He does not want to be bogged down in investigations. But I think that the president of the United States should be investigated. And we should send a message across the world uh, that we will not tolerate the undermining of our democracy in the way that this president has done. And so, again, I don't know what uh, President-elect Biden would do, but I certainly would support investigating the president. Um, Congressman, I want to talk about relief for America.